Hey guys, I'm Jordan Carnegie. And I'm Georgia Boda with the RCHS Chatter. We're here to fill you on what you need to know about what's going on at RCHS for the week of September 28th. This, this is, is the, the Chatter, Chatter Newscast. Newscast. Were you selected as a student of the month by one of your teachers for September? If so, you will need to report to the gym on Tuesday, September 29th during comment time for a group photo. The Homework Depot will be open after school from 3 to 4 p.m. on Wednesday, September 30th. The 2015 Homecoming is next week. The theme this year is Dancing Through the Decades. We'll have a Homecoming Assembly this Friday, October 2nd in the gym where the Student Council will be sharing everything related to the Homecoming Week. Here's the schedule for Friday. forms are available in the lunchroom and must be returned no later than Friday, October 2nd. Hi, I'm Casey Davos. And I'm Sabrina Duran. And let's look at what some of the clubs and activities are up to. The Magical Singers will be at a two-day magical retreat for the first time ever on October 3rd and 4th. They will be singing songs in Hebrew, French, Italian, and of course English. While attending the retreat, they will be practicing up to 10 to 12 hours. At this retreat, they will be prepping for the magical dinner in December. Good luck, comments! It's not too late to join FCCLA. Some upcoming events include the Box City Camp Pop, Food Drive, and Ashes to Hope Supply Drive. If you're interested, please go see Miss Wilkie and Mrs. Hogan. Are you interested in helping out with the fall play this year? If you want to build sets, paint, and etc., make your way into the auditorium after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Help make the Outsiders a fantastic theatrical experience in November. That will do it for clubs and activities this week. See you next week and keep, keep on clubbing, Comets! Hi, this is Carson Anderson. Now let's check in on the latest guidance gossip. Bradley University will be here during lunches on Monday, September 28th. The Wilco Area Career Center would like to invite our sophomores to Wilco's annual open house. If you are a sophomore and thinking about Wilco as an option for our junior and or senior years, you might want to attend this open house on Tuesday, September 29th. Horatio Algar Association is an organization that offers a few types of scholarship at the national and state level. Those applying for scholarships must have a minimum GPA of 2.0, demonstrate critical financial need, and be involved in co-curricular and community service activities. The application deadline is October 25, 2015. For more information about scholarships, check out the Guidance Counselor's blog. That's all the gossip we have this week, comments. Now let's check in with the comment question of the week. Hello, Reed Custer. My name is Mr. Stastny, and here's your comic question of the week. You know, every Wednesday, not every Wednesday, but almost every Wednesday, we have a late start. The late start is due to PLC meetings. The question of the week is, what does PLC stand for, and what do they do? Answer will follow this week's menu. This is Luke Smith. On the 28th, we're going to be having chicken nuggets with rice and pizza. Hey, this is Frenchy, and on September 29th, on Tuesday, we are going to have hamburger and or cheeseburger with or and or ravioli and bone. Hi, I'm Trent Alexander, and on September 30th, Wednesday, we will be having taco, taco salad, and pork patty on a bun. Hi, I'm Rob Miller, and on Thursday, October 1st, we will be having chicken patty on a bun with mashed potatoes. And also, it's Beck Alleyward's birthday. Happy birthday, Beck Alleyward. Hi, my name is Faith Newell, and on Friday, October 2nd, we will be having Bosco sticks with sauce and barbecue ribs on a bun. The answer to this week's comic question of the week is PLC stands for Professional Learning Community. And what do they do? It's a group of teachers that work as a team to make education better for their students. Hello Comments, I'm Justin Murphy with the sports schedule for the week of September 28th. For boys soccer on Monday, September 28th, the boys soccer team plays an away game against Beecher. The game begins at 4.30. For Tuesday, September 29th, the soccer team plays another away game against Westmont. Match kicks off at 4.30 p.m. 
On Monday, September 28th, the golf team will be participating in the Interstate 8 Conference Tournament at Wolf Creek. They tee off at 1 p.m. On Tuesday, September 28th, the golf team will be squaring off against Seneca and Cole City at Nettle Creek Golf Course in Morris. On Friday, October 2nd, the golfers will be participating in the Grant Park Invite at Mini Maness Golf Course. Tea time is 1 p.m. For girls volleyball on Tuesday, September 29th, the volleyball girls will be hosting Piatone. The game times are as follows. Freshmen at 5 o'clock, sophomores at 5.30, and the varsity at 6.30. On Thursday, October 1st, the varsity girls will be playing an away game against Wilmington. Game time is at 6.30. For football on Monday, September 21st, the freshman football team will squares off against Hersher. Kickoff is at 5.30. On Friday, October 2nd, the varsity and the junior varsity football teams will be playing an away game against Lyle. The JV will kick off at 5 p.m. and the varsity will kick off at 7 p.m. That'll do it for this week in sports. Go Comets! Thanks for watching the Chatter Newscast. As always, you can get special announcements, exclusive interviews, links to other RCHS websites, and access to all of our social media from our blog. So be sure to check it out. See, See you, you next week! week.